And so if there's any young men out there right now who think they're called to the priesthood, they feel like they're about to give a phone call to the vocation director and really sign themselves up for seminary. What would be your first piece of advice to a person like that? What would you say to them? Yeah, advice number one is always, um, I think that it, it's it's crucial to remember that um, what we're called to before marriage or to before priesthood is communion with God and um, leading other people to communion with God, right? That is our ultimate vocation, right? It's, it's holiness, right? Um, so be confident. Be confident that, um, you know, there's not there's this idea that your vocation is, is, you know, essential and you, you know, it's a puzzle piece that you have to put together. Um, it really can be as simple as, um, where are you closest to God and where are you leading the people you're supposed to lead to God, to God, right? Like that's it. And, and that's what the vocation is for, right? So priesthood and marriage, their means to an end and that end is holiness. Um, and I think that that kind of lets guys, it lets men and women take a deep breath and be like, you know, the God who made me from the beginning and desires my salvation is the one who's you know leading me to ask these questions. So you can answer those questions and answer that call uh, with confidence and knowing that God's not going to lead you astray. Yeah, for sure. And so do you have any um, words of comfort or advice for people who don't have their vocation yet? They've been searching for maybe years, but they don't have it yet. They haven't taken any vows I'm sure you went through the same experience. I think we all do, especially me right now, not being married or a priest or anything. Just that period of waiting, period of discernment. Do you have any advice to get through that uh, peacefully, to get through that peacefully? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, and, and again, like I, I, I'm able to speak of this with hindsight, right? But it's certainly it's certainly tough, right? And I remember it being there. Um, and I think, again, it's, it's that, that idea of, in one sense, you do have your vocation, which is to love Jesus Christ, to love Jesus Christ and to to love the church and to bring people to the church. Um, so as long as you're doing that on this kind of path of discernment, you are doing what you're supposed to do. Um, and then other than that, um, again, your vocation, it, God is going to call you to something and your vocation is going to be something that you can achieve practically, right? So like odds are God is not calling you to go join some order across the world that you randomly found on Google, right? Like your your path to your vocation uh, comes from just saying yes, 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 and a lot just walking through the doors that get opened for you, um, rather than trying to like reach and and put pieces together, sort of thing. I, I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah, 